Welcome back to the Charismatic Voice. I can hardly believe that we're doing this today, but because of your demand, both here on YouTube and my patrons, I will be reacting to myself. This is to a performance that I did about 10 years ago. I was wearing the same dress, so I, you know, I thought I'd pop it out of the closet just for this because we haven't had many excuses for concerts in the last year. Anyhow, I've brought some wine to give me some courage. Uh, not tipsy yet, but we'll see what happens. And this is opera. This is going to be serious, serious opera. So the wine is very appropriate. The song that I'll be singing in this is an aria. It is from Die Entführung aus dem Serai, which is the abduction from the Seraglio. It's by Mozart. It's that opera that some people know about that Emperor Joseph II said that there were too many notes in, which you'll hear. <laughs> um, the aria is Martin alle Arten. This means tortures of all kind. And the character singing it is Constanza. I'll just be doing the excerpt in this concert, but I did sing the whole role of Constanza a couple different times, once in Italy and once in Philadelphia. So uh, I love the role, I'm very, very familiar with it. And I'll talk a little bit about the history of the opera some too while we're, while we're going. Now, this is taken from the Queen Elizabeth competition in 2011. This was a very extensive and tough competition for singers um, worldwide. And in order to get there, you had to go through all kinds of pre-screens and stuff. But uh, the at this point, I think we'd had five weeks of other rounds that we'd done as well. And then we had this big concert. And in this particular video, uh, being the youngest person in the competition at this point, I was just like, well, here we go. Balls to the wall. We're going to do it. <laughs> and I sang really, really tough arias. I'd sung already at this point, No Word From Tom, From the Rake's Progress, uh, The Snow Maidens, Aria, the first one, really cute, sweet. And then I sang Regnava, uh, Nel Silencio from Lucia, which is basically two arias in one. And, and then I sang this beast, which is known for being a beast. Constanze is like one of the hardest roles, most challenging out there for sopranos. And uh, this is the most challenging aria in the role. So, hey, you know, why not? Let's get to it. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> Michael, like, yeah, let's do it. Ooh. Okay, even before I get going here, uh, did you see that little like mm, thing? That was uh, both attitude being like, we're gonna get this the same way that a fighter enters the ring. And it's like, yeah, pumping themselves up. Okay. Um, but also, <laughs> It's because I've been singing for 20 minutes. I was really sweaty because I sing with my whole body. I use my whole body to support my voice. Um, so I was sweaty and uh, and chewing a little bit actually helps to stimulate your saliva glands to bring more lubrication into your mouth. So that was part of the reason behind that. I'm going to give you a little bit of context for this now. Um, Constanza and Blanche and her maid have essentially been captured by pirates and then sold to Pasha Zalem. Pasha is this totally loaded guy. He's got uh, lots of money and a harem, and he desperately wants Constanza to marry him. But Constanza is engaged to Belmonte. And so uh, her name, Constance, right? She's trying to be really true to him the whole time. Uh, so at this point in the opera, Pasha has tried wooing Constanza in so many different ways for a very long time. 
And finally he gets fed up and he says, if you're not going to marry me, well, then I'm going to torture you. (laughs) She's like, fine, torture me, whatever you want to do. I'm not going to break my promise. And my favorite part of what I just did is when I do the Ich Freilache, which translates as kind of like I laugh, but it's more like I scorn you. She's actually scorning him for threatening torture. She's oh, she's so fierce. I love her. Constanza is an amazing character. Um, the runs in this, which you heard, one of the one of the that was the first big one in it. They are really hard. They are fast. They span a very wide range. I, I do a pretty good job, I think, in this. I didn't get it perfect, but it's pretty good. I think I was twenty one or twenty two at this point. It's pretty good. Oh, no. Wait. Hell, I think I was 24. Lied. I think I was 24. point in the aria, I really wanted to portray Constanza as having a moment of a little bit of vulnerability, maybe even a little bit of doubt. Um, she's saying, if I could be untrue. And I think she's been in captivity for a long time. And, you know, it's it's been tough. She doesn't know if Belmonte is coming for her or not. Um, we know in the opera that he is, but she hasn't seen him. So she's just barely holding on. Uh, And I think that there's a little bit of doubt and she's mad at him for that doubt in her. It's a very interesting thing to play. Um, Also, I know that one of the things I always was going for as far as placement goes in this aria is I always tried to have dome and like a really high soft palette so the sound felt like it could exit through the crown of my head at the same time as having this present. So having that balance that I've talked about in other videos as well was definitely on my mind. leading. That part is hard, guys. Um, you are going up high, I believe, at the top note there. What do we go up to the... Oh, oh, my piano's not on. Let's see. I have my musical score, though. I brought it with me, Baron Rider Edition. Let me tell you, Baron Rider is good stuff. I haven't looked at this in a while. I think, yeah, we're going up to C here a bunch of different times. So a high C that we're going up to. Um, the exciting thing about this one is that it's doing a little staccato, like attack of the top, and then holding a really long note. So the articulations are varying up a lot. It takes a lot of control, a lot of control. So let's see. Let's go back a little bit. And I'm a little under there. I always had to work for my pitch, I think more than some singers, but I'm pretty good on this. There's no pitch correction. There's no amplification, okay? Well, you see here, that's me singing over the orchestra. I don't have a microphone. The microphones that you might see somewhere or for, they're for broadcasting purposes. There's no extra speaker to send it out to the audience and balance us or something. No, that's just me, the conductor, is doing a great job of balancing the orchestra too. But yeah, that's, uh, that's tough. <laughs> It actually sounds lower than it is. I had a lot of um, lower overtones already in my voice at that point. It, it, it went lower as I aged too. That part right there. I went down really, really low in my voice. I got a lit, like a 
teensy bit of chest mix in there, but you can't go into a full like burly chest voice there because it's opera, it doesn't, it's not correct for the style. But as a soprano, you need to try and still project through those lower notes. That's really, really tough to do. And essentially when you go up to the top then not to totally blast it out, um, I think that's about a two octave jump there. It's hard. <laughs> I gotta say, those were pretty good runs. They it kept it light. Um, it was fluid and legato at the same time. It was uh, well tuned. Um, and those runs, I think, go up to a D at that point. Uh, let me check. Is it a D? It's been a while. Yeah, it goes up to a D at that point. Um, that's th Those were hard. Those were hard. I worked a lot on those. I sing them really slow first. I would sing them in different patterns. Um, so I would try and split them up instead of groups of four. I would split them up to like groups of six or something or uh, offset where the group of four started. I worked a lot to get those runs. <laughs> Cheers, Elizabeth. Good job. <laughs> Right there, you guys should know. I think I play it well in the face there, but what happens is usually there's in staging, there's some sort of turn away that the posh will do. will be like, no, I'm not gonna accept your pleading, which spurns her to just be like, Rawr, which you're gonna hear. <laughs> straight my hair is. It was so curly before this. It was like ringlets. It is so drenched at this point. <laughs> I'm sorry, Elizabeth, I interrupted you. Uh, that Orchnenur is basically saying like, order me, beat me. I don't care what you do. I'm not going to give in. Uh, that part feels so good to sing. You just feel your support, which your support isn't just like your upper lungs, it like your support system goes all the way down through your hips into the ground. And you just, you go down deep into it and then you just let it rip and it feels amazing. Anyhow, uh, this is what feeling amazing singing a high note sounds like. <laughs> is a beast. It's a marathon. It is really loud, angry projection in both sustained notes and runs over a long period of time after you've already been singing both in the opera and in this competition for a long time. You have to pick moments in it when you're going to uh, lighten up a little bit. And this zuletzt befreit mich doch der Tod also, you might notice where I placed the timing of those consonants that is so ingrained even 10 years later. Um, that moment was a moment where I could lighten up a little bit 
almost like Constanza was out of breath from being so angry for so long. <laughs> Let's go back and appreciate that. bit of like oh yeah that part's coming up uh I always I had it marked in my scores too right here this moment it starts I'm like oh no the really hard part is coming up uh, I don't remember how I did on this part in this so let's see that was my my signal uh, uh oh hard part here we go <laughs> I did well. <laughs> I was a little, uh, the, a little bit pitchy going up to it, but once I got up to that high note, that's the thing that's really tough because your voice has been moving so much, getting your air really calmly underneath you to hold out that high note in a, um, you can't just blast through it. You have to hold it in a more tender way for it to make sense within the phrasing. That's really, really tough. It was tougher for my voice too, I think, than um, some color tours at that point. Uh, I had a lot more power behind me, as you can hear. So finding something that is tender and holding it in this like little pocket there, that's tough. It's tough. I, I did a really good job here. Good, good job, Elizabeth. <laughs> That one was pretty. That one's, I like the one where I did the run through it. You always have to sing, think about like singing through those high Ds and those runs because if you pause on them for too long, you're going to get stuck and you have so much that's going to be happening afterwards or it's really short. So you just have to be like, boop, hope it went well. This one's great. That's me thinking. Keep it forward, keep it projecting. <laughs> uh, this, so right before this high note, there's this like ah, 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 moment. It's absolutely the diaphragm. It's like little sighs. It's hard to learn how to articulate that in a really healthy way. I think I did a good job here. It's hard. This is such a hard aria, you guys. <laughs> That was, uh, like, not only did I learn how to articulate that well there, and I put H's in front of it purposefully, which wouldn't normally be the case with just uh, a Mozart aria. You would think about just onsetting that. But because I wanted it to feel like each was a little tiny sigh in that way, uh, very intentional uh, placement of those H's there. And I, I love the way that that added to expression. Some Mozart purists would think that that was too much H, FYI but it was something that I liked for adding expression to Mozart. That onset on that high note is one of the toughest things in the aria. It's an onset on a high C. Uh, really, really, really tough to do. Um, 
I was a teensy, just a little hair under the pitch at first. Um, like, I don't know, like probably like 10 cents. And then it, it evened out into it, which I actually thought wasn't, wasn't too bad. It's, it was sounded pretty good. Uh, that's hard though. It's really extended. And when you get to bed, oh, it's like so relieving at that point. Uh, let's go back and listen to that because we, that, that's hard. It's tough. And look at the relief that I have at the Bologna day. <laughs> let's go back a little bit. By the way, on the hello, that part, if it sounds like it's wide vibrato, that's on purpose. It's technically a trill in opera, which often just sounds like a wider vibrato. I am so fierce at this point. It's just like, okay, I see the end. It's 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 starting to approach. I passed the really long high C. I passed the high D runs. Okay, the end is starting to approach. The hardest part is coming up. So <laughs> keep on going, girl. <laughs> made up for if I miss any of the notes in those rounds, I was like, whatever, I'm gonna make up for it with a constant toll. And then like, if I didn't spit, something was wrong. <laughs> so this run, it's at the very end of the aria when you are the most exhausted. And it's like, okay, now go faster. So this is, this is the hardest part. Every single time, opera, concert, whatever it was, audition, competition, this run at the end, it's not the highest note, it is the fastest note and, or, or the fastest notes. And it's just, it is so, you know what, Elizabeth, drink to you already because this part's tough. Oh, So basically what would happen is in rehearsals, we'd set the tempo for this aria. And I was able to take it at a pretty brisk tempo in general. We would get to this part and I feel like the conductors would always say like, oh, but we should do it just a little bit faster than you think you can do it and see what happens. <laughs> and it's supposed to go faster, but oh my goodness, I've had some, some conductors just take off. It's hard. It's really hard to get these runs fast. I mean, I practiced a ton on the other runs. These ones I probably practiced like five times more. These are hard. Okay, let's go back. Well, it's gonna repeat in a bit, but we're gonna go back. <laughs> By the way, uh, every single coach that I ever worked with at this point told me to just forget the words. You don't have time to get the words out when you have this many notes. Too many notes, that's too many notes right here. It's just too many. You can't get the words out, it's impossible. So, instead of what are the words? Zuletzt befreit. So let's to be fright are the words actually, but instead it was to let the fra. <laughs> you just had to, like, we've said it enough times 
by this point in the aria, I've said zuletzt befreit mich doch der Tod many, many, many times. At this point, we're not about words. We're about really fast notes. And however we can get those notes to happen, we're gonna do it. <laughs> uh, so it doesn't do this once, but twice and in a row. So no recovery time, just do it. <laughs> at the very, the very last moment there where I'm like, I'm gonna spit. Those, those runs are hard. We deserve to be able to spit out at the end of this. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Just for effect. One more time. so tired at this point. Do you see there's like makeup running underneath my eyes? I mean, you know how sweaty I am at this point. It is so much work singing, well, already singing the arias before it, but to put this one at the end, I, I look back on younger Elizabeth and I'm just like, you are insane. Why did you program that all together? <laughs> but uh, I'd say overall, I did a pretty good job. We got 99% of the notes. There, uh, some of those notes in the runs just go by too fast. Oh, boy. Uh, but overall, this was a fantastic experience and brings back many, many good memories. Here's to younger Elizabeth for slaying that. That aria is just so tough. And... Yes, there are moments that I wish I would have done a little bit better, but do I think I could have done them much better at that point? No. I'd been singing for 20 minutes straight, projecting over an orchestra without amplification, and I'd been singing hard stuff. I'm really happy with the way that I just roared <laughs> through that aria. You know, yeah, some of the pitches could have been a little bit better. Maybe I got 99% of the notes instead of 100%. Um, but this is a live performance, absolutely zero correction of anything. And I don't see many people doing that in modern days or in, in modern music. I see that in opera, but in a lot of modern music, we do a lot more pitch correction, a lot more production, a reverb, compression to help those dynamics make you still heard. Uh, and in opera, it's, it's all this. So, uh, yeah, I feel pretty proud of that performance. I guess we always are our own worst critics. And so for me to say that I feel pretty proud of that performance, I think actually means quite a bit. <laughs> there are many performances I don't think I'm as proud of this one. Um, this one's pretty good. <laughs> My favorite thing in this performance overall is the attitude. The way that I spit consonants, you know, when you put consonants in a microphone, they're much easier to hear. When you have to enunciate your, your consonants over an audience and over an orchestra, like if the spit isn't flying, something is wrong. Uh, those consonants, they were, they were pretty dang good. <laughs> and the fury behind the consonants was even better. When I went to singing, uh, doing a lot more recording, like in a booth with a microphone that was closer, I've always had to rein back my consonants because of that ingrained operatic training of get your consonants out there in the auditorium with everyone else. Um, yeah, guys, this was really fun. I, I thought that I might cringe more at hearing my younger self sing. And in the end, I just feel genuinely pretty dang proud. So <laughs> thank you very much for encouraging me to go back and react to younger Elizabeth. Now, if you want to make more suggestions, I'm a little terrified of what you might say, but you can post those in the comments below this video, and you can also come and say hello to me 
on YouTube for premieres on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays at 8 a.m. You can find me on Patreon. And if you want to learn how to sing like this, or really pretty much any, any way you want to sing, um, I can help you with technique like crazy. So check out my website, thecharismaticvoice.com. I have an intensive singing course there, and I also have a course on music appreciation. So I hope to see you somewhere else soon. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.